The dawn of a new day, and with it the arrival of the daily newspapers. In our towns and cities, most streets had a corner shop, the first call of the day. When TV was still young, the millions, the newspaper and the radio were their only source of news and gossip. But there was also something comforting in the daily ritual of collecting your paper, secure in the knowledge you could pick it up and put it down at any time during the working day. And if you wanted it delivered, there was the ever-reliable paper boy, whose knowledge of who read what at what address was legendary. Not far from where I lived, there was a, an estate where I used to deliver the evening papers, help deliver the evening papers. Every night you'd go and pick up your bag of papers, which was pretty heavy, go around the estate, deliver them in the doors. You had a list of all the doors. Um, but the best time was Christmas, because at Christmas you would get tips, and some of the tips were very good. Um, sometimes you'd get a shilling, or even occasionally two bob, if somebody was really well off. Rob's paper round had more of an influence on him than he realised. At 21, he returned to the Sunderland Echo, this time as a trainee journalist. Most of the training was what was then called on-the-job training, and it was a great way of learning because you actually did the job, and you went out with a senior reporter who would take you up to court or take you to a job, or you'd go out with photographers who were also very skilled in asking questions, and they knew more about what you wanted than you knew when you were a new starter. He would also be sent to um, college and finally take some exams in things like shorthand and law and government. And then you would be considered fully trained and you'd passed the certificate of proficiency for journalism. It's a strongly political story and we're going to involve the MPs in Westminster in it. Every morning the uh, production meeting takes place and the editor and his various executives they all meet together and decide what they're going to do with the paper that day. So they'll talk about the stories that have happened overnight, where it's going to go in the paper, whether the photographer needs to go out and take more pictures, um, which is the best story, what's going to go on page one, what's going to go on two, three, four, what's the best sports story. Um, and sport is a very important part of every, every newspaper. Rob's favourite jobs were tinted red and white, especially in that memorable year. Oh, 73 was great for Sunderland, everybody remembers, because that was the year that Sunderland won the Cup. Uh, and there was tremendous celebrations in Sunderland. Mind you, the day that they did win the Cup, I was actually working. I was out going on street parties because most of the dads wanted to stay in the house watching TV, watching Sunderland play Leeds on TV. And so the kids and the mums went outside and had street parties. So I had to go around with a photographer doing stories about street parties. <laughs> 